coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next algorithms made easy tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about something called the binary search. So in the first tutorial we briefly covered a uh, big O notation and we determined that if we did a linear search, so if we want to search for the number 7 for example, do a linear search, uh, we came up with the with big O of n. And we haven't really covered uh, the best case and the worst case and stuff. We'll get more in depth into to big O notation and uh, theta and, um, and big omega and stuff like that. But um, for right now, uh, the average case, right, is uh, O of n um, in a particular, uh, if we were to traverse through each element in this array. Now, one thing that we didn't actually talk about was sort of us optimizing a linear array. For example, uh, a linear search or something. Say, for example, a lot of people were searching for the value six. Instead of keeping it in this position, we could all we can move it to the first position. And so, whenever we were calling it, we wanted to search for the number six. Instead of it being O of n, it would in turn be O of one, simply because the size of this array doesn't affect uh, the time it takes to search for it because it's in the first index. So it's not like we have to traverse through a lot just to get to a certain value. Uh, so that's one way that you can solve uh, problems, um, speed problems with linear linear searching. But as it gets larger and larger, so you have an array of a thousand, yeah, you could put the best possible searches at the beginning, but then say you put the least common search at the end, and then all of a sudden you need to search for that value. Now you're searching through a hundred uh, thousand different indexes just to get that last value. And that's not a very efficient way to actually do it. So now we're going to be going over a binary search. And since we've been doing uh, some basic sorting, this is the perfect time to do it. So in order to perform a binary search, we need uh, an array to be, we need the array to be sorted. Now the the big O notation for uh, this, sorry, I don't know why my pen don't work, sorry. So for the big O notation for this is O log N. Now for those of you who don't know um, what logarithms are, uh, let's just do like a quick, a uh, super quick lesson on what logarithms are. So logarithms are the inverse of exponential functions. So for example, if I have an uh, exponent, I have two to the uh, exponent two, so two to the power of two. We know that two to the two to the power of two is equal to two times two, and that value is equal to four. So we're trying to search for the actual value. Whenever we have logarithms, instead of them giving us the exponent, they give us the base, which is two in this case, and they give us the answer, and they want us to find out what the power is. So to write this as a logarithmic function, it would look something like this. So we'd say log two of four. So it says, okay, what do we have to, what do we have to raise two to the power of to get the value four? And that answer is two. So that means this whole statement is equal to the value two. So we're, in this statement, we're trying to find the value of the statement. This one, we're trying to find the value of the exponent. So uh, that's just a quick overview. Uh, if you want to learn more about logarithms, there's many resources on the internet. So what does this mean? So we determined in the first tutorial that, uh, that if, for example, we had an array of five, and each index to do something with each index to, uh, took a second then if we were to make the uh, the array 10 then it would double it so it would double the time so it would take 10 seconds rather than 5 seconds to do operations well let's look at it like this okay so let's say that we have um, let's say we have 8 indexes in our array so we, we're gonna say log 2 of 8 and so this is basically saying, okay, what do we have to raise two to the power of to get the value eight? So two to the power of three is equal to eight. So this is equal to three. So in order to solve for eight, um, in order to in order to solve an, an array of of eight different values to search for a value, it will take uh, a maximum of three different iterations. Now. 
if I was to let's say let's double this right so as with a linear approach when you double it it takes double the time right because the maximum number of iterations doubles but let's look at this in logarithmic form so we're gonna say logarithm 2 s to the 16 um, 2 of 16 so what do we need to raise 2 to the power of to get the value 16 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so in this case it's only raised by 1 so then to whenever we double it even when we double the uh, the size of it we only have to do one more calculate one more iteration one more maximum iteration um, in our in our binary search and this is what makes it uh, very efficient and a lot more efficient than say something like a linear search so enough about sort of the theory about all that stuff and let's look at how it actually works so what how this works is that we uh, we point to the middle so you point to the middle value and in the best case the middle value will be the value you want so let's say we're searching for the number four it'll say okay four is the middle value oh we got the value you want and we return that so in the best case we'll have o of one but in the average case in the average or the worst case uh, we'll have o log of n and so what it does is that it says okay let's say we're searching for the number seven right uh, if we have this is why we require a sorted array so we had, we're searching for number seven we say okay this value is four so we're searching for the number seven so is four, uh, since four is less than seven it must mean that seven is on the right side of this half right here so it says okay since we know that seven is on the right side we can get rid of this of this right here and now let's create our own sort of mini array in here now let's take the mini value, the, the next middle value, and we say, okay, 6, 6 is less than 7, right? So it must mean that 7 is to the right of this array, so we can get rid of all this right there. Then we end up with this, and then 7's the only value, is 7 equal to 7? Yes, it is, so then we found it. And so that only took uh, three steps to get that. So uh, let's... Now that we actually got that down pack, let's actually figure out, let's see how to do it in code. Okay, so I already have a binary search uh, function here, but I'm not going to be showing it to you. Uh, I just have to, I just have some extra code in this one to show you kind of the, the, the process of what it goes through. So that's why I have it in there. So we're going to have int temporary and we're going to take the size and we're going to take the value. Uh, so now for the print array, uh, uh, for the print array function, I added a new um, element and I named it start index. And this basically will, where's the print? So this is basically will set where we start printing from. So um, I use, I utilize it in my binary search uh, uh, to actually display some values. So anyways, uh, let's minimize that and we could show it later on so we're gonna say binary search if I can spell and we're gonna have temporary we're gonna have the size and this shouldn't be key to be value so we have the value that we're looking for so what we're gonna do is we're going to make a boolean called found and we're gonna set it to false and then we're gonna return found so this is gonna return a boolean um, result to let us know if we actually found the element or if we didn't find the element so now we're gonna have a low and we're gonna set the low to zero we're gonna set the high equal to size minus one and we're gonna have a mid and we're not going to set a value for that and this should have been a comma so we're going to say while high is greater than or equal to low, we're going to do some stuff. So don't worry if, if it seems like I'm going a bit too fast. I'm going to walk through it step by step after we're done. So we're going to say mid is equal to high plus low divided by 2. And then we're going to say if the key or sorry, the value, sorry, if the value is less than temporary, uh, temporary mid sorry then we're gonna say high is equal to mid minus one else if value is greater than temporary mid then we're gonna say low is equal to mid plus one 
else we're gonna say found equals true and we're just gonna break out of this uh, so what is what exactly is going on here so we're gonna bring our diagram and walk through our diagram based on our coding steps right here and so let's bring this all into view right here so uh, we have our low end we have a high and we have a mid so uh, with our arrays this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 based on our array terms so we set our low so I'm gonna have a uh, orange is low so we set our low to index 0 and we set our high to index 6 or which is the last index right here so it says okay the mid is equal to high plus low divided by 2 so 0 plus 6 divided by 2 that's 3 so 0 1 2 3 so let's just use this for our mid so this is the middle value. So it says, okay, is a value. We're searching for the value seven. Okay, so is seven less than temporary mid? So is seven less than four? No, it's not. Is seven greater than four? Yes, it is greater than four. So we're gonna set low equal to mid plus one. So we're gonna erase this right here, and we're gonna set low equal to mid plus one. So we're gonna set it to right here and let's erase this right here so we've done that and so now we're gonna say uh, we're gonna do this again so now that we go to mid equals high plus low now our mid our low is at 4 and this is 6 so what's 4 plus 6 that's 10 10 divided by 2 that's equal to 5 right so our mid is equal to 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so that's where our mid is so let's Put it right here so then we say okay is seven less than six no it's not is seven greater than six yes it is so it says low is equal to mid plus one so let's erase both of these here and so our low is going to be the same as the seven right here so now that we check again it's going to say mid is equal to high plus low divided by 2 so 6 plus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 6 so it's gonna say okay so is, is 7 less than 7 no it's not is 7 greater than 7 no it's not so that means we found it and let's break out of it and that's how it actually works so uh, just to show you in my binary search 2 I show you this should be changed the value and same down here so uh, right here what I've done is that I've uh, we've we're going to do the process print the process that happened and then we're gonna print what iteration number we're on so for right now I wonder oh this should be boolean sorry so right now I'm just going to cut this in half right now and I'm going to just set this to 10 and I'm going to uncomment this and let's just set this to 10 and set the size to, to 10 and the value you want to search for to 10. So we're going to run this program right now. And so this is our initial our, our initial array, and then it shows that it split it in half, and that's the first iteration. It split it in half again. That was the second iteration, and then it got the value ten, and that was on iteration number three. So now let's uh, sort of reverse everything we did, and now we have twenty elements, and let's run this program. So we double the size of it but now instead of having three iterations it only has one more iteration so it only took one more step just to do it so we cut it in half that was the first iteration we cut it in half again second iteration cut it in half again third iteration cut it in half one more time and that was the fourth iteration and we got it and we found the value so anyways that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe don't forget to like my uh, page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and don't forget to sign up on my website as well for source code on the forum. So thanks, and bye for now.